Pavarotti will make you cry as a singer. And he'll also make you cry as an actor. We saw Yes, Giorgio. So you know what that means. A nigga grow a baby in his belly, rock a rhinestone vest while ripping Justin to Kelly. Or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow and take a boat with speed to hit and cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, and the beautiful June. Gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, help to blow off steam. Just a sucker punch the odd life of Timothy Green. Sharknado to Bird Demic, how we stay in the lock. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool as ice. Cause a bad Jim Varney looks Looking kind and nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making the grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Matinee Monday. I'm your host, Paul Shear. And this is a weekly look back at old episodes of How Did This Get Made that we've recently pulled from the vault and put back into the live feed. That's right. You don't have to pay for any subscription. You can listen to some old episodes right now. We call them classics. And we are talking about a classic episode that we recorded at BAM. It was a sold out crowd and we needed to give them a really classy movie. And it is called Yes, Giorgio. Yes, Giorgio is Pavarotti in a way that you've always wanted to see him. In a rom-com, yes, he loses his singing voice and he falls in love and he also gets a shot in the ass. That's a very sexual scene where his doctor, who's assigned to look at him, <laughs> has to give him a good old shot in the ass so he can sing again. Um, this movie, I remember so little from it, but I do remember just uh, amazing food fights and a lot of sex scenes. Like Pavarotti was like, I need to get it on. I mean, he has a, a breath control in this uh, that is absolutely amazing. And um, it led to a very important discussion. Is opera that hard? I think anyone can do opera. I mean, that was the thought. Can anyone do opera? Well, guess what? We did have an opera singer in the crowd and they showed us that no, not anyone can do opera, that you can actually do it really, really well. I guess if you had like a couple months of learning. I don't know. Anyway, take a listen to this clip. When he becomes, when Giorgio becomes, um, when he enters the Met and starts performing, when he wore that eyeliner and his hair was slicked back, Ooh. look, I preferred that look. <laughs> I wrote that down. I preferred that look. I, I wrote that down too. I said, he so you look half bad. He Opera did not Pavarotti. look half bad. Opera Pavarotti is a lot better. And looks a lot better. I'll pull up a little picture yeah, of him. You guys yeah. are shockingly in agreement about this. <laughs> a lot, a lot is, a lot is starting to make sense. Mm. Opera Pavarotti's got it going on. Well, I think it helps when he looks like he's in the past. <laughs> you know, when I'm like, if I said to you, oh, this is a picture of a, a king from the 16th century. You'd be like, yep, looks about right. <laughs> but when you put him in like modern clothes, you're like, uh-oh, what happened here? Yeah. Too many hats, too many scarves. Shouldn't have gotten on a hot air balloon. Um, I mean, that was wild. First of all, I just want to talk about- First of all? <laughs> We're like many minutes into the show. We've covered stuff. I don't remember. Are we editing I don't, from now? Did the show just I don't remember start? a thing. I don't remember a thing. Um, I think if you're writing this movie, you go, okay, Pavarotti falls in love with a doctor. And, 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 you know, this is an important doctor and he's an important opera singer. But they couldn't have had lower stakes at her job. She's performing tonsillectomies <laughs> to sassy kids who are fat shaming Pavarotti. Like, and she seemingly takes off a week without a problem. Like, you know, but it's like... She just, but, what are you talking about? She just switched vacation weeks. Her own patients be damned. <laughs> but Why also were all like, the patients in one room? It's like, it's like a, a Dickens hospital. And I'm also thinking, if I was like a really sick kid in another ward, I'd be like, 
What? He came, Giorgio Feeney came to that one? Those kids are just getting tonsillectomies. They're getting yeah. ice cream. Come over to me. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it was an unfair, yeah. unfair performance. Yeah, I felt like it was, um, I felt like when we cut to that hospital, it was like the worst episode of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> it just seemed sad. She was, she also seemed to always be about to perform surgery. Oh, Even though she was just in and amongst the kids. And listen, I don't remember ward. what the scrubs looked like at that time, but it did seem she was in a scrub dress. Well... <laughs> Like, uh, As a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. I, By the way, into this. No, it looked She's great, like, but it was a form-fitting body con. It is like a... Scrub dress. It is, yeah, it is a wrap dress. It is like a Diane von Furstenberg wrap <laughs> dress with a smart bow in the back and slippers, question mark? Well, I want to I wanna talk about the slippers because it she's, looks like she's... <laughs> Like she's operating in sandals because her heel is clean, like clearly yeah. out. It is just out. Of, like she's not in shoes, not on her feet that much. She's like, I'll just put these on my sandals. Oh, I'm just wearing my surgery flip flops. <laughs> and mean, what this she is like, this is like, is this the 70s, right? <laughs> yeah. No, 82. 82? Yeah. Wow. That's depressing. Oh my gosh. I also find this concept flawed because I lived in New York City for many years. Brag. Uh, no big deal. <laughs> I've never seen such a rapturous attention to an opera star. Like, where he went, the streets were lined with people. Well, I saw listen, Nicole Kidman no, I mean, on the street Pop one Roddy time. Is no one beloved, was loved, you know, but at across this time, the he world. Was, at I, this time, he is like a big to do, but yeah, I agree with you. It seemed as though the city was much more obsessed with opera than it is. Yes, I mean, to a point that he performs seemingly like a concert in the park during the day, which I think all concerts Wait, in the park- I think park... that's in Boston, though. Oh, okay. That's in Boston. Shouts to Boston, baby. Well, listen, so I'm not- that's, Now you know where they are, New Yorkers. Fight them. <laughs> I, I will reveal you myself. Dummies, you fell for it. I will reveal myself before this film. I mean, I haven't been a huge opera fan. I haven't, but I don't know enough about it, the art form in general. Um, and I've always thought that's for something later in life, like <laughs> retirement. That's when I'll get into that. But the danger in this movie is after watching this, I feel like now I'm someone who identifies as not liking opera. <laughs> like that's who I am. I don't like it. Well, and I don't think he sounded good. <laughs> let, let's let you be the judge. Um, here we go. We can give, uh, give you a little... Uh, <laughs> we're, we're not oh, gonna... we had to do this, so you will too, sir. <laughs> By the way, as someone, uh, as someone online pointed out, uh, they get up in the middle of the opera to give him a standing ovation. That doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> But, here's but I a, would like it, by the way, if you guys would start giving us standing ovations in the middle of the show. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. No, 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 spontaneously later. You have to find Otherwise, the moment. Otherwise, it seems cheap now if you just do it. All right, so that is... Yes, Giorgio. Yes, Giorgio is now streaming. You can listen to it to whatever podcasts are heard. Remember to rate, review us. Give us a, a good old follow if you listen to us on Apple. And tell your friends about us. We are How Did This Get Made? And you can follow everything about us at hdtgm.com. And that's also for all of our live shows. We have virtual shows. We have live shows. We're all over the country. So come out and see us. Come out and check out when we'll be in your neck of the woods. And tune in next week for another Matinee Monday. So remember, like, subscribe, watch another. Please, come on.